Hello and many thanks for joining me for another Somerset Rear Now review. Um, I've got here another beer which I got from the Bristol Beer Factory when I went up there. Um, this is their independence. Um, it's... Where's the ABV on it? 4.6% 4. 4 ABV. Brown 500ml bottle. Once again, look at the, the uh, effort that's gone into that label there. Looks fantastic. There's the... Uh, I'll let you have a read of that if you want to uh, pause it. And some more information on the other side there. Hopefully you've got that. Fantastic. Right. Let's crack it open. A little bit of smoke on the opening. Plain gold crown. Once again, shame I didn't pick up a Bristol Beer Factory glass when I went up there, but um, <clears throat> I will be going there again, so I shall pick up one again when I go up there. Look at that. Oh, she's a bit lively. I'll leave the rest in there. Wow, well, look at that. Golden getting on for copper in colour. Plenty of carbonation going on in there. It's a little bit cloudy, but then, to be fair, it is bottle conditioned and um, I may have shaken it up a bit. Um, I don't mind a bit of sediment in my beer. Um, if you if you don't like it, if you want it clear, be a bit more careful with it and don't shake it about at all. It doesn't bother me at all, anyway. Um, one and a half finger, sort of, newspaper coloured head, made of lovely foamy bubbles. Fantastic. Let's get a nose in on this, anyway. Oh, straight away you're getting lovely... Grapefruity hops. <laughs> oh, it smells beautiful. Bit of biscuit in there. It's tropical. Um, I think I'm getting pineapple. Maybe kiwis, but that sweet sort of grapefruit, grapefruit with sugar on. This smells like it's going to be a dream. It smells a beautifully hoppy beer. This, just what I like. Um, I'm going to dig into this. Cheers, everyone. not disappoint. Oh, it's such a... I don't think they brew these beers with spring water. I'm pretty sure, because I don't know if there's any springs around Bristol. Not sure, I could be wrong. But um, it's got such a real clarity to the water in this. You can really taste it, sort of freshness. Um, you are getting a, a lovely prolonged bitterness. And it's sort of tingling on my tongue still now. Very slight sweetness in there. It's just like a lovely tropical fruit sweetness. And that very, it's a very pleasant bitterness in this beer. Um, if you don't like really bitter IPAs, this would be a good one. But you like the flavour of IPAs, the grapefruit, this would be a good one for you because it really is, it's such a mild, um, it's like a mild IPA, like a mild pale ale. You've really got those um, qualities of the hops in there. A grapefruity bitterness, but it's not a massive bitterness. This is going down dangerously fast. I'll fire the rest in there. This is the bit with all the yeast in. It will cloud the drink up a bit more. You can see that's clouded it up completely now. Like I say, if you don't like the sediment, don't pour that last little bit in. 
I personally don't mind it. Um, <clears throat> our distinctive American pale ale is full of a big hop character but without the strong bitterness. <laughs> there you go. I honestly didn't read this before. Anyway, uh, carefully selected American hops are added continuously during the boil and also during the conditioning dry hopping. Uh, to give it a really fresh aromatic boost. This beer is mainly about hops, but we've given it a malt backbone to balance the beautiful tropical fruit rumours. Perfectly done, absolutely perfectly done. It has got that lovely sweet malty backbone, which does really complement it, I think. Uh, bottle conditioning, I won't read about that, so I've just basically told you. Um, uh, BristolBeerFactory.co.uk, and they're on Facebook and Twitter. You just search for them on Facebook or Twitter. Um, that. 4.6%, I'd probably session that. I could probably have three or four of those and still uh, be able to stand. That's one of the best examples of a sessionable, really well-flavoured American pale ale I've tasted, um, other than a, a, an American pale ale from an American brewery. Um, uh, what's that? Um, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, very, very similar to that. Um, obviously this comes in a bigger bottle and it's cheaper and it's, I wouldn't say it's easier to get because Sierra Nevada is available everywhere. Um, but um, this is a really, if you're close to Bristol, or incidentally, I think Fred at West Country Ales may have this. <coughs> Pardon me, um, westcountryales.co.uk. That's getting a 9 out of 10 from me. I love it. I think it's a great beer. I'll definitely be getting some more of that when I go back to the Bristol Beer Factory. Thanks for watching. Love to see your comments in the comments box. Apologise for the yellowness of this video, but um, it's my kitchen for you. Um, and cheers.